Well, snow is flying across northwestern Minnesota. We take a look at totals there and into North Dakota. Rain again for southern Minnesota, but we too will see some snow. It looks like over the weekend as cold air moves in. So latest drought monitor is in too, uh, pretty much unchanged from last week. A slight majority, 54% of the state remains in drought. Uh, but the biggest reason that it's not much different than last week's is because it does not include the rainfall that we've seen the last couple days. Uh, it goes through 7 a.m. Tuesday. So next week, uh, the drought monitor will show some of that uh, information. This is what it looked like in St. Vincent, Minnesota though, uh, northwestern part of the state, snow covered at least on the ground. Yeah, a couple of inches being reported, three inches in Pembina, North Dakota, uh, much more in central North Dakota. In fact, you get towards Minot, nine inches and counting with snow continuing uh, through the day today. And that snow will continue into tomorrow in northwestern Minnesota. In fact, uh, the northwesternmost counties here, Thief River Falls, Roseau, uh, winter weather advisory through 1 p.m. Friday and winter storm warnings further west into much of North Dakota where they could see e even more snow. Uh, totals could come in at about a foot for parts of North Dakota. Even uh, the far northwestern corner of the state, Halleck, some of those places, St. Vincent, maybe getting up towards seven, eight, nine inches uh, in totals there. Big temperature divide too, uh, kind of fueling all this. 60s in southern Minnesota. In fact, it was already 60 early this morning in Rochester. Well, it was barely above freezing in northwestern Minnesota. So huge temperature divide, classic fall storm system, the low pressure center way off to the southwest. We saw this uh, latest volley of moisture well ahead of that. And then this is all snow pretty much on the edge of that, that very cold air here, that cold high pressure pushing into Montana. So North Dakota back into Montana, Wyoming, all snow. And then northwestern corner of Minnesota, snow and rain. We'll see probably more showers pop up this evening uh, as that low moves in and into the overnight, especially for the northern part of the state closer to that low. Uh, but it will also be snow across uh, areas that will expand further east across northern Minnesota. So towards International Falls, but that will see that rain turn to snow and it's going to get windy uh, late today in western Minnesota and then a statewide tomorrow, 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts with falling temperatures. We start uh, today low 60s southeastern Minnesota, but watch that cold expand east and southeast. By the time we head into tomorrow evening, it will be in the 30s pretty much statewide except for the southeastern corner of the state. So we'll start early, early morning hours in the 50s, probably in the Twin Cities, but by the evening, 30s Friday and very windy. Wind chills are going to be pretty brutal here early Saturday. Highs uh, only in the 30s on Saturday. Wind chill probably around 20 early Saturday morning. Single digits in northwestern Minnesota. And so that cold that moves in behind this latest system will set the stage for the next system moving in, which right now is in the Pacific. Uh, it's gonna move quickly towards us by Saturday. This is gonna develop another shot of what looks like rain and snow showers, but quickly turning to mostly snow showers uh, by Saturday afternoon. So here's late Saturday afternoon, rain and snow moves in initially a mix and then turning to mostly snow. Uh, this looks like it's gonna probably dump the most moisture in Southern Minnesota, so along I-90 is where we could see some of the higher totals, but the potential for some white slush on the grass, I think, probably under an inch in the Twin Cities, but you get into Southern Minnesota here along I-90, we could be looking at an inch, maybe up to two inches on the high end, so not a huge snowfall, but uh, even Southern Minnesota getting a turn here with some of the wintry weather heading into the weekend. And look at these temperatures this weekend. 38. Now the normal high is about 50, so it's not that far below normal. It's definitely within the standard deviation, but we stay on that colder end of the normal range right through next week. And in fact, Halloween, coldest Halloween probably in four years on Tuesday, and we could see a few more snow showers for trick-or-treaters on Tuesday.